You might have been having a bad day and then someone come and they pay for your lunch. Yeah. Or, you know, somebody say, come on, let's let's go out and, and let's go let's go to movies or let's go. You know, you want your friends to call you or something. Those are angels. Those are your angels. People just giving you a smile. Someone just paying for your meal that's um in front of you. Just those little nuggets of kindness. God is reminding you that I have not forgotten about you. I have not forgotten about a word that I Hi family and welcome back to our channel, the family and baby channel. Yay! <laughs> come on, baby, come on, come on, come on, so you can do your part, come on. <laughs> the Marie and Baby channel. Yay! <laughs> Yay, oh my goodness. He was way across the room. Oh, my God. He really was very no attention, y'all. <laughs> his little boy is the best. He, is, he had to come do his part. <laughs> okay. Shoes. Put your shoes on. Good job. So, today is day eight. And if you are thinking, well, it looks like day seven. You are absolutely correct. Because we're doing two in one day, okay? Because y'all, the way life is set up. I have to roll these videos out the way I can. So forgive me for not um for not um well just 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 understand that I'm trying to get these videos videos out to you so we can have a successful 31 day challenge. Okay, so <clears throat> today, if you have read the seed of hope, um it was referencing um Rebecca and Isaac and how Isaac prayed for his wife to conceive and how she faced infertility at the beginning of their marriage but how he prayed for his wife and not only did it conceive one but it conceived two ch children twins Esau and Jacob alright so that's the that's the read from well that's the psalm summary of um, the devotional seed of hope. So we're going to get into the word um, and it is coming out of Genesis 24, verse 24, and, I mean sorry, chapter 24 and verse 25. And it says, yes, we have plenty of straw and feed for the camels and we have room for guests. Yes, we have plenty of straw and feed for the camels, and we have room for our guests. So, um, in this chapter, it's saying that not only are we do we have enough for ourselves, but we have enough for um, guests. We have enough for their livestock. We have enough for you know <clears throat> them and their children. And children. It's, it's it's been this kind of day. It's been this kind of day. That's why. I do the video because y'all okay so it's the overflow okay in the next chapter we are reading from John 17 and 23 and it says I am in them and you are in me may they experience such perfect unity that the world will know that you sent me and that you love them as much as you love me. That is in our red. So it's Jesus speaking to the disciples and the people. And this is sorry, Psalm 71 verse 14. It says, but I will keep on hoping for your help. I will praise you more and more. More and more. More and more. Ah, I'm sorry, y'all. 
I'm thinking about the song praise. I'm I love the praise and worship and I love to sing. Okay, those are a few things to know about me. And the next one is Genesis 18 verse 14. It says, Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return about this time next year and Sarah will have a son. Is anything, this is the angel speaking to um, Abraham and Sarah. And he says, anything too hard for the Lord. I will return about this time next year and Sarah will have a son. This is when um, the angel came to uh the angel came to, sorry, <clears throat> Abraham and Sarah and told them about the word of God and what God has spoken over their lives, that they will bear a child. And I think this is when the time um, when Sarah overheard the angel speaking to Abraham and she chuckled because she was older at the time. So, you know, um, God had already spoken into Abraham's life that his descendants will be as numerous as the stars. And, you know, can you imagine waiting that long when God had already implanted a word in you and years go by and you have not seen the word and years and years go by and your your husband has had a child with someone else and you like, yeah, you go. Okay, calm down, okay? Wait, wait, go get your phone, boo. Where your phone at? Where you put your phone? Go get it. Go bring it to mommy. Go bring your phone to mommy. Calm down, calm down. So, can you imagine um, God speaking a word? And like I said, years go by, and there's nothing. But your, but your husband has had a child by somebody else, and you're like, well, yeah, God did say he was gonna have a numerous. His generation is gonna be as numerous as uh, the stars. And we can't count the stars in the sky, and it's gonna be just as many as those. So. Maybe that maybe he was God wasn't including me. God was speaking to my husband and telling him. So you know, God sent an angel. How many how many times have God sent an angel to just remind you, just to say, I have not forgotten about you? How many times has God sent you an angel to say, you know, you might have been having a bad day, and then someone come and they pay for your lunch? Yeah. Or, you know, somebody say, come on, let's let's go out and, and let's go let's go to movies or let's go. You know, you want your friends call you or something. Those are angels. Those are your angels. People just giving you a smile. Someone just paying for your meal that's um in front of you. Just those little nuggets of kindness. God is reminding you that I have not forgotten about you. I have not forgotten about a word that I spoke of you many years ago. You might have Thought I forgot about you because it hasn't come to pass yet, but I have not forgotten about you. So let me send you an angel to whisper in your ear to tell you that, hold on, oh, it's coming. It's coming. It might not have come in the time frame that you thought it should have happened, but it's coming. It, it's on my time. God said it's on my time. So. I'm that angel today to see, here to tell you that it might not have came yet. But guess what? God's word is saying to you today. Listen, um, I'm going to send it because all things are possible through me. And also, um, is there anything too hard for God? God's like, is there anything too hard for me? I'm God. I created the heavens, the earth. I created you. I made you beautifully and wonderfully made. Mirror. This is my this is my reminder right here. Constantly. There's nothing too hard for God. Come on now. Anyway, I don't want to keep uh this video too long. But I hope that encourage somebody today. Let you know that um God might send you an angel to come your way to just share a nugget or two with you just to encourage you. Um further that yes listen i haven't forgot about you uh, i know everybody seems like they're getting their blessings and miracles and everything um and you're sitting by saying well when when will my time come when will it be my turn and god said i have the perfect timing for you he's never 
um, late. He's always on time. He might be slow getting there, but he gonna be on time, okay? He, he gonna make it just in time. Um, so, and then I love this scripture because not only did God bless Sarah, um, well, this is Sarah. This ain't the one. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about another one. But anyway, let me, let me, let me stop getting my, my verses and scriptures confused. And I'm gonna end it right here. I love you. Have a great one.